Hey Cass, what's happening? It looks like winter's here. The thing I hate about winter is, is the uh, work that it entitles. So much work. You know, our driveway's pretty long and we don't plow it anymore. We used to call a snow plow to come and get it. Um, but we have a snow blower now and about four passes down the driveway and back and it's clean. But, okay, you know, and here's the thing about shoveling the sidewalk. It's clean right now. But you never know, it could start snowing in just a little bit here, and I have to shovel it again. So it's not like mowing grass, where you mow the grass once a week, it's done. Snow shoveling, you shovel, you could come back in an hour and have to shovel again. You could come back an hour after that and have to shovel again. The next day, the next day. Right now, though, they're talking about the weather. Uh, should be warming up for us uh, th things are, are uh, temperatures are going up almost to like 45 close to 50 next week so that's good oh you you probably think I have a uh, bottle of spirits here or something for the holiday no I'll show you what I got <clears throat> it's nice and toasty in here Look at this. Little Christmas decorations here. I was over at my mom and dad's and they had one of these. And it's really pretty cool. I'll show you how we'll do it here in a minute. It takes batteries and it lights up and it's like a little snow globe thing. <clears throat> I got a pack of batteries here for it, so. Let's put the batteries in and see what happens. It takes three batteries. Open the bottom and uh oh. Looks like I got the wrong batteries. Ah. What the heck? These are AAA. I needed double A. Not to worry. Lucky for me, my wife has a mini Walmart. Back here to the, uh, oh, dark. The closet back here, look at all this. Mini Walmart. And right in here, aha, we've got uh, double A's. Actually, got quite a few of them. Yeah, this is like a eight pack right here. I always like to use these Duracell batteries. For some reason, I think they last longer than regular batteries. Maybe I'm wrong, but I always like Duracells. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's turn it on and see what happens. Got a little button down here on the side. Oh, wait a minute, before I do that. Let's turn off the lights. Okay. Now let's try it. Ooh, look at that. It has like a little motor down there that spins the uh, crystal things around. star on the top. How pretty is that? So Merry Christmas. Now we have a Christmas tree. And you see it kind of like 
goes and then it stops and it goes and it stops so it'll like settle down here in a second and it just kind of slows down settles all down for a minute and it's just real and then all of a sudden boom there it goes it starts going again how pretty is that sparkly it goes clear to the top too really nice you see our house is pretty void of Christmas decorations right now hey look what I got oh I love it that's so cute <laughs> I bet it look really pretty in the dark. It does. Oh. It does. Merry Christmas. We have a tree. Whee! <laughs> look at it. It goes like crazy. Mm -hmm. Let's set it right here on the coffee table. And we can get a good look at it there while we sit upstairs here and yeah. do our thing. I like it. How are you feeling today? Well, I felt really good this morning. I had so much energy that I went like a gangbuster. Yeah. And now I feel like I could just lay down. I'm really, really tired. I think I used all my energy this morning. I think you need to take a nap. Yeah, I usually do feel better after a nap. Oh. I napped yesterday and felt real good after. Yeah. She lay down yesterday on the couch here, and I covered her up with a blankie, and she fell asleep. Sound asleep like a baby. It felt good when I woke up, though. And then we went on a date last night. Mm -hmm. We did. Mm -hmm. Went running around town, and we even went out to Chick-fil-A, and I ate like crazy. I was so stuffed. I think my tummy got small. <laughs> and I even had a small milkshake. I couldn't eat the whole thing, so I put it in the freezer. Yeah, she's not eating as much as she did uh, before the surgery but she's eating and she's drinking really good too so um, she's been feeling good during the day she just lacks a little bit of energy mm -hmm. and uh, but that's understandable I mean it took a lot out of her and then being in the hospital for uh, all that time a total loss of sleep too so she's got sleep to catch up on well, as well and now I get up twice a night mm -hmm. so you know that's interrupted sleep. I never did well with interrupted sleep. Yeah. So, she's doing really well. I mean, the energy levels are coming way up. You should have saw her this morning ripping around here. It's Saturday. She likes to clean house on Saturday. And she cleaned. She, she wore herself out, though. I scooped litters. And I did a load of laundry. I cleaned up the kitchen. I mopped it. Well, I vacuumed it first, then I swiffered it. I cleaned my bathroom, my toilet, my shower, got myself cleaned up. Itchy fed me lunch, and now I'm ready to zonk. What was for lunch? Oh, delicious grilled cheese sandwich with tomato basil soup, and I ate it all. <laughs> I'm like a baby. Feed me, and now I'm ready to go to sleep. <laughs> We have a little sick kitty today. We have a, a sick V and a sick kitty. So we have to go to the vet. Call the vet and they said bring him right up. Which is good because usually when you call the vet you gotta wait quite a while.
wife gets to get out of the house a little bit and get some fresh air. Ooh, cold air. Brr. I don't have as much meat on my bones and I'm freezing. She's been still in re recovery, still recovering, so it's been a rough road. Um, she's coming along, but she's got a way to go. We knew he wasn't feeling good this morning. So this is, uh, I kind of figured we'd end up going to the vet, but not this quick. So I called the vet and they, surprisingly, they said, how long gonna be before you can get here? I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. They said, well, get him up here right now. So we're on our way. See what's ailing the poor little fella. He's just swaying there. Tell us about Pony. He's just kind of laying way back in the crate, poor little guy. Pony's the kind of guy, once you pet him, he won't leave you alone. He wants to lick you and he wants you to keep petting him and petting him. So we can tell right away that something is wrong with him because he's just laying there. So hopefully it's something simple. A few years back we had the same thing at Christmas time and turned out his anal glands were swollen and they had to express them and then he was fine. So it could be almost anything with cats. You know, he could be constipated, it could be a urinary infection. Our house has been in turmoil for weeks, as you know, which affects cats. They're very routine creatures. So it could be anything. Yeah, they also put on this winter coat this time of year so they get their hair just gets really thick and um, you know they're always licking themselves cleaning themselves and they ingest a lot of hair and that's how cats get hairballs it usually gets stuck in their throat like and then they end up hacking up this great big bleh, clump of hair hence the term hairball but sometimes it passes all the way through and gets down into their digestive system and then it just kind of gets everything all stuck together down there with a big wad of hair. So that could be his issue too. But we'll let the vet look at him. They'll give him an examination. The vet will feel him and squeeze him and see what he thinks and they might uh, do an x-ray or something. But Some blood work, that yeah. tells him a lot. Yeah, we'll get to the bottom of it. Well, we're on our way back home and we don't have Capone with us. Now, it looks like everything's going to be okay, but they wanted to keep him overnight. Uh, apparently, he was constipated with some very hard, dried up poop <laughs> that he couldn't get out. So, they give him a little enema. They're going to keep him overnight. They said they'll probably give him a couple more enemas. Uh, give him some fluids. And yeah. Keep them hydrated. Yeah, so we feel better about that. It's a good, good vet we have, good country vet, and they're very reasonable, they're very fair, and they've always been really good to us. And we've been coming here for many, many, many years. So keep you posted about Capone. We'll be back in the morning and see how he's doing, and hopefully he's happy and we can take him home. Yeah, poor little guy. He had to be hurting. I know. His, his old tummy has to be killing him. What's with our family and intestinal issues? <laughs> I can't stop and he can't go. Must be something in the water. Oh my gosh. You never know.